So today, boys and girls, we are going to be playing with a build that I like to call the running gun. And if you guys are watching this clip right here, you guys are seeing running and gunning, getting in cover, whatever you want to do with this build, you guys can do. Now, will it be the best build to do those legendary missions or even do legendary summit? Probably not. But if you plan on doing a lot of heroic, if you just want to run through missions, if you just want to get through content quick and have a lot of fun doing it and play this game the way it should be played, well, this is the build for you. It's going to have a nice amount of skill damage, some really good DPS damage, and you guys are going to notice that it does a little bit of everything, and that's why I enjoy it. But before we dive into this, I do want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of our video, Advanced GG, and they have been my partner for a while now. If you guys have been watching my channel, you've probably seen them pop up in more than one video. And I tell you guys, their product is not only one of the best tasting products out there for energy supplements, it actually has some of the better stuff for you. So if you ever want to know what's actually in Advanced GG, they're fully transparent and you can see exactly what they put in their product so they don't hide anything from you. If you guys want to test them out, well, don't worry. That's what we have this video for. Skills 30 for 30% off. Make sure you guys use it at the checkout and then let me know what you guys think about it. But yeah, skills 30, 30% 30 off. Let's dive back into the build. So if we dive into the build itself, it's set up with 900,000 armor, 326,000 health. We are running no shield because I know a lot of you guys are probably saying, oh, wow, you're not really running the shield. No shield is needed for this build because the talents I use don't require you to keep any kind of buffs up, which is actually really good. So I am running the technician class, and then I'll explain that in a second. And the weapon I'm using, I'm using the police M4, which is probably one of my favorite weapons. And I was lucky enough to get this. I was, play I was playing the summit with a random group, all legendary, and this person dropped it. these rolls right here. And I was like, what? They don't want this? I'll take it. The police M4 has always been one of my favorite ARs in the game. It has a really nice RPM at 850. It's really easy to control. And it has a 50 round mag once you put that 20 round mag on there. And then total damage is around 103,000 on this build itself. We have assault rifle damage, health damage, and then 10% damage to targets out of cover. And then I rolled in sync on there. I'm getting 15% skill damage for 5 seconds, 15% weapon damage for 5 seconds, as long as my skills are hitting and I'm hitting, and that's doubled. So I can get a total of 30% extra weapon damage and 30% extra skill damage. That's why this works really good since I'm running double skills. Now, the way I have this modded, I have a C7 9 scope with 5% crit chance. I have the 20 round mag with the negative 10% reload speed. I have the link laser pointer. Now, what the link laser pointer does, you can only use this with the technician specialization, but it allows you to pulse the enemy by just aiming at the enemy. So that's going to work with my chest piece, and we'll see in a second. And then we have 5% critical hit chance muzzle break on here. Now, I pair that up with the Scorpio, and if you guys don't know about this, this is the new exotic shotgun. It's great for when you are you have those bosses come out and you need to finish them off quick. Just switch to this. The one stack is poison, three stack is disorient, six stack is shock. That's really what helps you because it shocks them. And then the seven stack takes an additional 20% damage. So if you guys don't have this, I would recommend working on it. Look at the total damage on it, one million. But yeah, those are the two go-to weapons. For the pistol, I'm not using it at all, so I'm not even going to go into it. Now, for the mask, we are running a Fenris mask. This gives us 10% assault rifle damage. We have weapon damage on here. Then for the attributes, crit damage, crit chance, and then I have a 12% crit damage mod. Then we get into our chest piece. We have a three-piece providence, so we're getting 15% headshot damage, 10% critical hit chance, 15% critical hit damage. That's going to give us 12, well, 13% weapon damage, 6% crit chance, 12% crit damage, and then on the we have 11.8% um, crit hit damage mod on here. But the talent's really why this is really good. Look, Spotter amplifies total weapon damage and skill damage by 15% to pulse enemies. So as long as I'm aiming at that enemy, right, he's going to be pulsed. So I'm going to get 15% weapon damage and 15% skill damage. So my assault drone or my turret is going to be able to, you know, put out that damage. So that striker drone, the assault turret, both of those bad boys are going to be hitting 15% harder at that enemy. And then that's why you see those enemies can drop down really, really quick. 
But yeah, spotter, it amplifies all total weapon damage. So that's what we have to keep in mind with this build. So we have our second piece of providence. We have weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance. We have our third piece right here, providence, weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance. For the gloves, we want the grupo sombra gloves. This gives us 15% critical hit damage with weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage. And in the backpack, we have the exotic backpack. So that's giving us weapon damage, armor, skill tier. So that we, we have two skill tier, right? Because of the technician gives us one. And this gives us two. Helps us out with our skills hitting a little bit harder. Oh, and we have critical hit damage mod. And then remember, once you guys have this fully stacked, that's 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency. Every time I pick up a trophy, another 30% weapon damage, right? And then not only that, we get 1%, so we get 5% um, skill efficiency. So a lot of benefit to running this backpack. And this build actually works really good with it. Now, what's cool about that, not running something like Glass Cannon, that's a lot of incoming damage. I'm getting no incoming damage, just amplified damage. And something running like, um, we could also run a talent where if we have bonus armor, right, we would get more damage. But with this build, we don't have to worry about any of that. We're going to be getting that consistent... 15% amplified total weapon damage and skill damage. So the skills we're using, the striker drone, look at that. Gives me about 27,000 damage, but that's before I get that 15% from having enemies post. And not only that, that's before I get 30% skill efficiency from having a full stack on my backpack. And the same thing goes for my assault turret. Look at that, 46,000 damage. Remember, this is before the the spotter talent and before the exotic backpack talent fully stacked. So yeah, these actually come back a lot quicker. This one says 21 seconds. This one says 22 seconds. But once I have that 30 stack, it's actually a beast. And I'm having a lot of fun with that. And then we go check out the stats. If we look, we have 60% crit hit chance, 170% crit hit damage. This can all be improved with max out rolls. We have 82% headshot damage, 20% health damage, and then remember, we have 10% damage to targets out of cover on the assault rifle itself. But yeah, this is the build right here. 94% all weapon damage, 39% assault rifle damage. This thing hits, and my, while it might not be the most insane damage you'll get out of an assault rifle build, it's a lot of fun to use. You don't have to worry about taking the incoming damage. Um, any kind of amplified incoming damage. You don't have to worry about keeping a stack up so that way you can, you know, keep that bonus armor. Because, yeah, there are some talents, some talents that could outperform this, but they have um, downfalls, like Intimidate. Yeah, we could hit 35%, right, 35% amplified total weapon damage, but what you need to remember is we have to have bonus armor. So if I have no bonus armor, then I, that means I have to use something like a shield to keep it up. So just something for you to keep in mind, that pulse talent works at any distance. There's no real downfalls to it, except that you have to run the laser. And that's easy if you're going to be running technician class. Perfect. But yeah, this is the build right here. This is the build that I enjoy running. And if you guys are watching this clip, it puts out enough damage to pretty much take out anything. And this is like really my running gun. If I, if I want to play, have a lot of fun playing, not hiding behind the shield, not just throwing out my seekers and stuff like this. This is the build that I've been having a lot of fun with. And I think a lot of you guys might actually enjoy this one. It's a solid build. A lot of have a lot of fun with it. And I think from now on, I'll probably run Spotter for a while um, until I get bored of it. And then I'll run another build. I think that's what keeps me playing this game a little bit longer than usual. Is that I switch up my builds from time to time. I switch up the talents I play. And this is one of them. Running Gun. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any questions, as always, use the comment section down below. Remember, you can find all my builds in the title update 12 playlist, build playlist. Um, and that's where you can find all the most current builds up to date that you guys can still use in this update. So hopefully you guys check it out. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I will see you guys in the next Division 2 video. But until then, nothing but skills out.